In the world of naval warfare, some ships begin with glory, while others find a new purpose long after their prime. The Philippine Navy's Del Pilar class frigates belong to the second group. Once simple cutters of the United States Coast Guard, these vessels were not built for high-intensity combat. Their original roles were law enforcement, patrol, and search and rescue. Today, however, they are being reborn as modern warships. This is Battle Horizon PH. The Del Pilar class includes three ships, BRP Gregorio Del Pilar, hull number PF-15, BRP Ramon Alcaraz, hull number PF-16, and BRP Andres Bonifacio, hull number PF-17. All three were acquired from the United States in the early 2010s under the Excess Defense Articles program. For the Philippines, this acquisition was an opportunity to quickly grow naval capacity. But the ships had clear limits. Their armament was basic. Their sensors were dated. In the high-stakes environment of the West Philippine Sea, those shortcomings were increasingly dangerous. Manila responded with a comprehensive upgrade program. The objective was simple, transform the Del Pilar class into capable surface combatants. The first major change was the radar suite. Old systems were replaced with modern three-dimensional radars capable of air and surface surveillance. This upgrade dramatically improved situational awareness. In naval combat, knowledge equals power. The ability to track multiple contacts in the air and on the sea gives commanders crucial time to decide and act. Weapon systems also received major attention. These ships no longer rely solely on a single 76mm gun and minimal defensive tools. Modern fire control systems were integrated, enabling precise engagements against surface and aerial threats. Proposals and plans have also discussed installing short-range surface-to-air missiles and electronic warfare packages. With these additions, the Del Pilar class gains both active and passive defenses improving survivability in contested waters. Upgrades extend beyond radars and guns. Combat management systems were modernized. Communication networks were upgraded to military standards. Electronic sensors and mission systems were enhanced to ensure better interoperability with allied navies. In real operations, this connectivity matters. It allows the Philippine Navy to operate alongside partners such as the United States, Japan, and Australia during exercises or real-world contingencies. The strategic context makes this transformation significant. The West Philippine Sea, part of the broader South China Sea, is one of the most contested maritime zones on Earth. Growing assertiveness by regional powers has put pressure on Manila. For the Philippines, projecting credible maritime presence is no longer optional, it is a matter of sovereignty and national security. In this setting, the Del Pilar class frigates once humble American cutters are evolving into frontline guardians of national waters. Critics rightly point out limitations. Even after upgrades, Del Pilar class ships cannot match the most advanced warships fielded by larger navies. They do not carry long-range strike missiles, and their hulls were laid down decades ago. Still, the reality is nuanced. For the Philippine Navy, these frigates are a bridge, a practical, cost-effective way to close capability gaps while newer, purpose-built vessels are procured. They also serve as live training platforms where sailors learn modern naval operations and tactics. In many ways, the Del Pilar story mirrors the Navy itself, constrained by limited resources, but compelled by necessity to adapt and modernize. From former US ships with modest missions, these vessels are becoming symbols of resilience, capability, and strategic intent. They patrol not only to monitor but to send a message, the Philippines may be smaller than some neighbors, but it will not patrol its seas unprepared. This is the transformation of the Del Pilar class frigates. This is Battle Horizon PH.